Hey everybody, this is Tony Sport Life. Um, I am starting a new little project here. This is going to be North Africa November, so I'm going to try to play uh, as many games as I can that take place in North Africa, uh, whether it be World War One. I mean, World War Two, obviously, World War Two, or Ancients, uh, Napoleonics, anything. Uh, so my goal, I actually have several games in mind that I plan on playing. Uh, this obviously is one of them. If you're wondering uh, what this game is, uh, you probably do recognize it, but it is, I mean, obviously the cards are right there, but it is Desert Heat Nation at War. So what we're going to do, so I was going to play the scenarios in order, but unfortunately... I got two uh, 11 maps, and I did not have a 12 map, so I can't play the, really it's the second scenario, but it's the, it's the first scenario that's not a tutorial, um, which is no time to be disorganized, which is this one right here, which you need map 12 and 14. I don't have 12, uh, so I have contacted Lock and Load, so they're going to be sending it to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do Rats in the Dust. So this is just 11. And what we have here is I have four of these guys here, uh, which is the two PDR ATGs, so anti-take guns. Uh, let's see. Come on, focus. So that works out pretty well. So we got four of these. Now, in the scenario setup, these are supposed to be hidden. Eh, it, yeah, it, you can figure out a way to do it hidden, but I'm going to go ahead and lay them out because the range on these are only is only a four. So the range is only a four. So they're going to get on the map here pretty quickly. So um, these have a... So we have a movement of four. So what is the goal and who's the win and who's how to lose, how to win and how to lose? That's always a key thing. It's understanding victory conditions. So what it is is the Italians have to move at least six uh, AFVs, so the armed fighting vehicles, off of this map edge. They'll start on this one and go to this one. So we have to win, Italians must exit six armored units, reduce units count towards half an armor unit via Hextro U. Um, oh, do I have this backwards? Okay, so they're going to go the opposite way. So these guys are going to come on. So, um, so they're going to have to get off. So they're going to start on this side and move to this side. Okay? Pretty basic. They get six of them off or 12 half or a mixture of both uh, then they win two of the army units must exit must be from the third uh pistoria so that's these blue guys with the blue stripes on them so that's that so now we have special rules so uh this was supposed to be secretly record the four uh two pdrs uh they can be revealed to perform an opportunity fire or reveal to perform an action during the formation's activation or designated formation marker is pulled. So the two PDR porties or units are always in command and can activate when the seventh rat's formation marker is pulled or when the designated marker is pulled. I'm assuming it's an or, not an and, so you choose which one. The seven death rats do not activate with this designated from only the PDR units. At the start of the game, remove the third Pistoria formation marker from the cup. This formation activates first before any other chit is pulled from the cup. Okay, so I'm not using the, cu the cups. I'm actually using the cards because I like the cards. So I've got to pull this. So this one is automatically going to be the first one. So, uh, so these guys can activate with an opportunity fire, of course. But the designated formation or the seven desert rats. So, so we'll get these mixed up back up here. So, we're gonna go here. We're gonna move these over here. We're gonna take this, this, and this up here, and then we're gonna take these and move these over here. So, we gotta have six armor units. So we have one, two, three, four, 
five, six, and then there is a, so we have the six of these guys here. Of the 1340s. God, I wish this would focus better. I have a new camera, so I'm still learning uh, some of the the aspects of it. Oh, I don't need to flash one. And, but it does come with an 88 ATG. And on the back, of course, it's, that's how we're going to get it on. So we have six of these guys coming on with an 88. Pretty nice. Also, so I have to have at least two of these get off this side of the map. And I think it's nine turns. Yes, nine turns. Now, what also comes on the map on turn two, so I won't pull the activation on this one because they come on the map on turn two, is the seventh armor. Okay, so we have the seventh armor, which is more 1340s. So, so they're not really going to try to engage too much in the fighting. They're really, what they're really going to be doing is mainly just trying to maneuver across. So I don't know how much fighting will actually happen, how much um, attacking will happen off of the uh, Italians. So what do we have defending? Well, of course we have the anti-take guns. We have four Crusaders from the 7th Desert Rats. That's what the DR is for. And we have four, three Matildas here. So these have a range of four. It's going to be a high armor battle. We also do have Lieutenant Cole. So we have our leader. And then, of course, our HQ. And then we also, on turn two, yep, we get a blending. Blenheim. So we get this one right here. So that's kind of cool. So we get a blending. So that'll be fun. So we've got all that. So that's what that's kind of the setup. We do have so the Commonwealth has three fate points, and the uh, Italians have four fate points, which I have to get those up and marked. It is a nine turn scenario. We have two turns. But, and we also have the chaos marker in, um, in this as well. We should have it in here as well. Uh, oh, it goes on in turn two. Yeah, so it goes on in turn two. So we'll get these things ready to go. So we will be adding the seventh armor second turn because seventh armor doesn't come on until second turn. We'll the blending and the chaos. So those come off. Those come on third. Third pistola. Pistioia, I do apologize, and with it. So I will also say that this is kind of my second uh, playthrough of the game. I did go through the tu uh, tutorial, and I'll tell you what, you learn a lot from doing the tutorial and then trying to play through and then realizing you mess things up, and you, have to, you, you kind of learn through that. So hopefully I won't make too many mistakes. Um, I know you guys will be nice, and we'll be able to uh, go through and uh, I'll see whatever I can do to correct the mistakes uh, but we are all set up we're ready to go I do have the turn marker you can't quite kind of can't see it here I think I got the perfect uh, distance on this one so we'll see how things go and then we'll shoot from there okay so let's go ahead and get started here Um, so one thing is I do, I'm going to have to move these back a little bit, um, because of the way things are going. So we're going to go ahead we get the third right now. So stacking is two. So we're going to take this. They can move four hexes and on a, need this to go through here. Okay. So let's go through the sequence of play as we go. So uh unit formation markers removal so we're done with that command status they're all in command we don't have any rallies we don't have any fire missions as of this point so the desert rats do get three or two three four he fire missions now the only thing about he is uh the only he that's going to be allowed is going to be on the um 
uh, is going to be on. It's going to be on um, this one right here, uh, because all the rest of them are armor, so they don't HE will just disrupt them, which is not too bad. It'll help, uh, uh, not with a problem. So that's with that uh, on there. So this at this point now. We actually do uh, get to so the blue gets three fade and then it's four. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, so we're going to go here. So we're going to start here. So oh yeah, I was looking at the uh, uh, the okay. So road. Road one, if entered from another hoax, cancels movement cost of the other terrain. So it's one, uh, no matter what. So he can go four. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay. So these are good. And these will now be marked uh, ops completed. So now, so we have clear terrain. So the clear terrain is uh, one. So I can go in these clear terrains, no problem. If you notice right in here, these are, that's actually rough, or in this case, Hamada, and it'll be two for a hard target. So it is two, but you do get some concealment on there. So, you know, we'll see how things go. But, so we'll take another two units here we'll go one two three four and ops complete on that one uh two more here so we're gonna go one two three four and then we'll put the hq we're gonna put the hq right there because it also has a four movement so so that'll actually also be ops complete as well I need another ops complete marker. And then we have our ATGM right here. So we're going to start this mobile into the truck. So it's now a soft target. So it's got one, two, let's see, one, let's see, here we go. One, two, three, four. And then, so he will also be apps complete as well. Okay. Now, these guys can double their ranges if they can see them. So, if you notice, this one right here has... Oh, this camera's working a lot better. Uh, four, two, six. So, it has a range of four. I can go extended on this one. So, it could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um... Eight could be the farthest, and then I would have uh, it'd be one dice because you usually move the to hit number. So in this case, this to hit number is a six, so it'll get moved up. So it could fire, but we have to see here what the next card is. So it's an end turn, and so that means we got another one, and it's an end turn. So we are on to the second turn. Now that's going to be interesting because now um, I get to add all these cards here. And since I have the Desert Rats, so I am only going to have to put, since these two didn't activate, I keep one of these end turn markers out. So we'll put that there. And then these go in until... This one goes in once the those guys activate. And that's actually, I'm going to go grab the formation markers because that's actually a good spot uh, to put that. So, okay, so, and then a quick cut so you guys can see I'm cheating. Quick cut, okay. So let me go find those formation markers and uh, I'll put them on here. Okay, so I went ahead and put the formation markers here. Uh, to go through with this, so that way we know for sure on that one. Okay, so I went through, remove these for a turn two. We do have nine turns, so I guess we'll flip the first card up, and it is the same formation. So, uh, the towns do block, 
So I think we're gonna try to move in here. So let's move one at a time. One, two, three, four. So that's a blocking hex. Yep. So it will touch this. So that's a blocking hex. So that one will be uh, marked ops. One, two, three, four. There we go. One, two, one, two four. This one. I'm going to say no, because that'll that hex gets in the way there. Uh, so that one will be there. Two, three, one, two, three, four. Now this one, this can definitely hit. So this one pops up. This is a four, two, six. One, two, three, four. Oh, let's do it this way. We're going to move one at a time. Four, two, six. So he's going to get two dice um, and a six. Yep. So two dice and we have a four and a two. So he is ops complete and no hits. So then we're going to go one, two, three, four. And we're going to try to get this guy. Um, so he again, two dice, range of four, so six to hit, and we get a three and a five. So three and a five goes here. Oops, I forgot to, uh, we need some more ops complete markers. There we go. That one. And that one. Okay. And then we have this. AMG, what's the range on the AMG? Oh, it's nine. So what we're gonna do, is that a blocking tool? I don't think it is, but I'm gonna take a look here. It's degrading. So what we're actually going to do is we're gonna move in, because this gives me a concealment. So I think what we'll do is we'll move in two, four, right there. Yeah. So we're gonna do that. That'll give me a concealment. So that's a concealment one. And that will be ops complete. <laughs> Sorry about that. I had the <laughs> ball game going on in the background. Okay, uh, let's see here. So, that one's all done. Next card. Okay, chaos. Oh, this is my first chaos. So, I need the chaos chart here. Okay, so we have our desert chaos chart. We roll 2d6. And we get a 7. Battlefield replies, both sides may return one reduced status vehicle platoon to full status. Well, neither that's not a problem because we don't have any full status or anything like that. Okay, so that's chaos. Oh, my blending. So, error. So, let's see what that's going to do. So, we're going to bring that in. So, let's see what's going to happen with that. Okay, so we have our blending. It is a 3-4. So what I'm going to do is I am going to place it here. Now what's nice is that none of these guys are able to anti-aircraft fire because they were all ops completed. So we're going to do the DAS. So we've got to see if we hit on it. So we've got to see if we're going to attack against it. So, a 6 is fine, a 1, a 2 is not good, 3 to 6 is good. Okay, so then we're going to uh, perform the target attacks. So he gets 3, and he has 4 to hits. Now he has armor, so he can do, a, can he, so he can save some. So, I need 4, 5, or 6 to hit on these guys. 
And I end up with one hit. And a five, and that's a one and a two. So he can save that if he rolls one die. By the way, I have these nice double D6. Uh, these gray ones here. So he rolled a three, and so the hit does go through. So he ends up being disrupted. So he is now disrupted. Uh, it's complete. And then this guy, I think he moves to the side. So I've got to check for return for the status. So let's see what happens. So I need to roll 1d6. And as long as it's greater than 1, I get to keep using it. It's a four, so in this case, uh, it works. And that's because I got one hit, so it will go back into, um, it, it's not out for the rest of the turn. So let's go ahead, pull the next card up here, and we have the seven desert rats. So I can bring all of these guys on now, and we'll get moving through this. So uh, they got closer. And these guys aren't going to activate this guy, no, because he can't see through that. So uh, these Crusaders can move five. They have a range of five. Okay, so so that's okay. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we'll put another one there, and we'll do. I need another more ops complete. Okay, and then let's see here. Uh, since this is clear, we're going to go ahead and go one, two, three, four, five. And we'll put the Crusader right here and we'll put the leader right with them. He has a command range of five, so he'll be good. That was one thing I technically did not check the command range, but they, they were in command. So the command range for the for the Italians is four. They're all within. They were all within four. So I'm not too worried about that. But he is now. That's complete. Um, the Matildas. I'm going to send them up here because I don't know if anybody's who's going to go around or anything like that. So we're going to go, um, and then we're going to put, yeah, Lieutenant Cole with this guy here. So he's going to go one, two, three, four, five. He'll be marked Ops Complete. Uh, this Matilda. I think we're going to do the same. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we're going to keep them back here. We'll keep both of these guys back here. And then we'll mark them Ops Complete. Okay. So, all done there. So the desert rats, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take this guy here and uh, we're just going to move him to the side because he has activated. Okay. Okay, the seventh armor. So now we've got these guys coming on here. These guys can only move three. We do have eight of them. But they can only move three. So we're going to put him probably in the middle. So since I know they can't be attacked here, we're going to go one, two, three. And then we're going to go three here. Okay. One, two, three. And then, yeah, he's got a command range of four. So that's one, two, three right there. And then all of these guys will have ops complete. Okay. So we've got those ops complete. So now let's go ahead and go here. Uh, so we have the one end turn. So that means this one will be my designated formation, which will be these guys right here. Uh, we remove these ops complete. And since this guy right here is already disrupted, we're gonna go ahead and fire. 
so that's uh, so he gets two dice and hits with sixes. Oops! Hey, we got a six. Okay, so we got a six. So, but he can try to save that. He can get one dice if it's a five or higher. It's saved, and it's a five. So that hit does not mix. So he is now ops complete. So let's go ahead, and then we're gonna take this one. One, two, three, four. Still two dices, two dices, two die. He does get a hit. Now let's see if he saves it again. Does he have that luck? No, this time he does not. So in this case, we will take this one and we are going to flip him. And he's still disrupted, but he is now reduced. So this is the reduced side. So we have the full side right here. And then we have the flip side right here. So he is disrupted. Oh, I put that back on the wrong side. So he is now disrupted. And we have ops complete. Ops complete. This guy, this this hex right here, this town hex is blocking. So he can't see this guy. Oh, this guy can fire right here. That's nice. Okay, so he's going to try. So again, he gets two dice. Six hits. And he does get a six. Awesome. So now, can he save this? If not, he will go into the dead pile. And he does not save it because that is a four. So in this case, he is now in the casualties so that will actually take off a couple of uh interesting things here because that's one out of the six and two of these have to get across so it'll be interesting to see um how we're going to take care of these and where we're going to go with those these guys just needed to get on they can easily go that way they could easily go back down this way we'll see what happens these guys can could go either way so it'll be interesting to see what happens also we have this one so uh, everybody's been activated that was the last designated formation so that one's been activated and so the end card goes there so that is the end of uh that turn so we are going to go here and we could have used a fate point okay got to remember about the fate points <laughs> okay so we're going to go ahead and shuffle these all up we have our action deck going here and I will need to go through here. Action deck. And then I will have to go through and remove all the um, ops completed mark. Okay, all the ops completed markers are removed and we are on to turn three. I'm going to stop the video here and uh, then we can... Uh, I'll get another video uploaded with the next couple of turns, and we'll see if the Italians can get across the map and get across. We'll see what happens. With that, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.